Okay, in order to solve word problems of ratio, first of all, we need to find out how to change sentences into ratio. Like these questions, based on what we have learned, we can turn them into ratios like this. So now that we know how to do it, let's jump into the more complex questions. Let's say we know that A to B is 3 to 5. We can draw it like this, but if A is 36, what is B? First of all, we need to find out which one refers to the number. 36 refers to the 3 units. And therefore, we can find what is 1 unit. And because we know 1 unit, now we can find B, which is 5 units. The key is to always find what is 1 unit first. If you can find what is 1 unit, then you can find anything be it only about B, or is it only about the total, or even the difference. Just like the next questions. If B is 20 more than A, what is the total? More or less means that we are talking about the difference. So this part, the two units. If we know that two units is 20, we can find what is one unit, and we can find the total, which is eight units. The same, we can also find only B or only A based on the knowledge that we know what is one unit. Just multiply it by the number of units there are. Next question is the same. If the total is 16, how many less of A is B? 16 is the total, that means 8 unit is 16. And therefore we can find what is one unit and we can find the difference. Remember, less means the difference. 2 units is the difference. We can just multiply it. Let's refresh our memory about comparing 3 things. A to B, 3 to 4. A to C, 5 to 6. Look at the part that is on a circle. These parts are the one that you need to make the same. 3 and 5 can be turned into 15. The 3 is multiplied by 5, so the 4 also multiplied by 5 into 20, while 5 can be turned into 15 by multiplying it with 3, and 6 multiplied by 3 is 18. So A, B, A to B to C is 15 to 20 to 18. Be careful on which part that needs to be made the same. Let's go on to the next questions. With the same ratio, let's say B gives A 15 balloons, and now the ratio turns into 9 to 7. How many does A have now? In these questions, we need to find out what doesn't change. Okay. In this example, the one that doesn't change is not A, because A gets more. It's not B, because B lose some balloons. But the one that doesn't change is the total of balloons of A and B. So let's add the ratio from the beginning and the end. In the beginning, it's 3 to 5, 8. And in the end, 9 plus 7, 16. Since this, they are supposed to be the same, so let's make it the same. 8 is turned to 16 by multiplying it with 2. So we need to multiply 3 and 5 by 2. It becomes 6 to 10. In the picture, we can say that each part is cut into 2. Now, since we are going to move some, some balloons to, from B to A, so try to move it so that the ratio becomes 9 to 7. If we move these 3 units, it becomes 9 for A and 7 for B. We know that moving 3 units means moving 15 balloons. So once we find 1 unit, we can find anything. Let's go back. Let's continue with the next questions. If A loses 20 balloons, so the ratio becomes 4 to 15, how does it look like? Losing balloons means that we have less in A, but B doesn't get anything. So in this case, the one that doesn't change is B. Because B doesn't change, we have to make them the same. 
at first it's 5 and at the end it's 15. So make it into 15 by multiplying it with 3. So 3 to 5 becomes 9 to 15, while the 4 to 15 stays the same. In the picture, we can cut each part into 3. How do we make it so that the ratio becomes 4 to 15? Well, we need to erase these 5 units in A. And therefore, 5 units is 20 and 1 unit is 4. Once we know what is 1 unit, we can find anything.